In this video, we're going to look at converting from exponential to Cartesian form. We ask to express the following in the form x plus i y, where x belongs to reals and y belongs to reals. We can make a, a general statement that if we've got a complex number z, and that's equal to r e to the i theta, this is the exponential form. That's equivalent in polar form to r cosine theta plus i sine theta. Now, all I like to do with these, if we can't spot what they're going to be, just convert them back into polar form. So on the first one, we've got a modulus of 1. Then if we think about the argument now, we've got an argument of pi by 3. So the cosine of pi by 3 plus i sine of pi by 3. Nice and straightforward. Again, you might not have to go through all this, but in an exam you might want to say it. So we can see that z is going to be equal to the cosine of pi by 3 is going to give us now 1 half sine of pi by 3 is going to give us root 3 over 2. So we've got z is equal to 1 half plus root 3 over 2i. We know that the modulus is 1. If we look at the next one, we've got now z is going to be equal to 4. And again, you might spot this one, the cosine of pi. And then we've got plus i sine of pi. So we've got now z, the cosine of pi is going to be negative 1. The sine of pi is going to be 0. So we end up now with the following. We've got negative 4. And if we think about that with an, on an argon diagram, it's pretty, pretty sort of, uh, well, it's, I don't know, intuitive, would it be? It certainly makes sense. Remember, we know that this is going to be now pi. This is pi. The distance is going to be 4. And we've got an argument of pi, so we're going to be out at negative 4. And we kind of looked at that in the last video as well. This one right here. Again, you might be able to spot this one. Z is equal to the modulus is 3 root 2. Now, we've got the cosine of pi by 4. So we've got the cosine of pi by 4 and the sine of pi by 4. Each give the same value of 1 over root 2. So we can write this now as Z is equal to 3 root 2 multiplied by 1 over root 2 plus 1 over root 2i. The root 2s will cancel, so we'll have 3 plus 3i. So nice and straightforward. Um, again, we'll do a couple more. This one, um, 8, so we can see that z, the modulus is 8. We've got now the cosine of pi by 6, which I'm just going to write as root 3 over 2, plus the sine of pi by 6, which is going to be 1 half. OK, so we end up now with 4 root 3 plus 4i. This one right here, again, you might spot this one. Z is going to be equal to 3. And in your exam, you can put cosine of minus pi by 2. In fact, I'll, I'll write it in just because I'm kind of selling you a bit short on them. Uh, plus i sine of minus pi by 2. The cosine of minus pi by 2 is going to be 0. So z is going to be equal to 3, lots of 0. The sine of minus pi by 2 is minus 1. So we end up now with minus i. So we can see now that z is going to be equal to minus 3i. And again, if we plotted that on an argon diagram, it would make sense. So down here, what we're going to have is the following. We can see that this is the argument of now minus pi by 2, and we've just travelled a distance of 3. So we're down here, and quite clearly, that is going to be negative 3i. So the next one, I'll quickly run through them. You can have root 3 over 2 plus 1 half i. You can have minus 1. Remember, we looked at this as a special example. That comes up to be minus 1. Um, on this one, just think we're going to be down here and our values of the cosine and sine of 3, uh, negative 3 pi by 4 are going to be negative 1 over root 2 and negative 1 over root 2i. So you can see multiplying through is going to give those. And again with this one, you're going to have now on there, you're going to have minus half and minus, uh, and on that one, minus half and positive root 3 over 2. So just be careful with them. I'm kind of running out of steam a little, but hopefully that's given you some idea on how to convert from exponential to Cartesian form.